How can I help you? Hey, I'm this old uh, Akai reel-to-reel recorder I'd like you to take a look at. Oh, wow. When this came out, this was the premier machine. Where did you get it? Uh, a friend of mine was moving out of state and uh, had a bunch of electronic stuff he just didn't want to take with him, so he dropped it off in front of my house, um, opened my door, and there it was. Are you for real? I am for real. I'm at the pawn shop today to try to sell my Akai reel-to-reel recorder. They're very desirable because they have the glass tape head, which doesn't fade or get damaged over time like some of the other models. I don't have any reel-to-reel -reel tapes, so I figure maybe a collector could get some more use out of it. I'm hoping to get 5000 for my Akai reel-to-reel -reel tape player. If I make the sale today, I've had my eyes on a new boat. I think I'm going to go buy it. This is pretty cool, man. So Akai Electric Company was formed in 1929, and it actually means red in Japanese, so pretty cool fact. This is the Akai GX747. It would have been released in 1981, and this would have been basically the last push of these reel-to-reel -reel tape players. The way it works is it would record a wave sound, you know? And if you're recording a wave sound digitally, it compresses it, it right. takes stuff out, makes the file as small as it can, and then it expands it back up when it puts it on the CD. As to where this, it writes the file on a wider piece of tape, and you get the full dynamic of each sound. People actually still like to listen to music on these. Some people say the quality of the music just sounds better, but the thing is, a tape is about $450, yeah, $500. Right. So it's not a cheap hobby. So does it work? Um, originally when I got it, it did not work. So I repaired it, replaced all the internal components, got it up and running, and now it works fine. Can I plug it in? Yeah, please. Do you happen to have any real tape on I you? I don't, unfortunately. Okay. So I can definitely hear some motors working, and um, I can see some stuff moving. Unfortunately, without the tapes, it's hard to know if it actually right. works. I, you know, I just have to take your word for sure. it. What are you asking for? Uh, I'd like to get 5000 Okay. Um, I think, yeah, you may see some go for 5000 from time to time, but mm -hmm. I think $4,000 is more of a range maybe that this would sell for in perfect right. working condition. I'll tell you what I don't want to be in it over $2,000. If we can make a deal for 2000 right now, I think that even if it doesn't work, I could still get pretty close to recovering that on parts. Um, I'd really like to get 3000 If you want to bring this back in the future with some tapes and show me that it works, um, we could talk about that $3,000 price. Yeah, well, let me uh, see if I can find some tapes and I can bring it back and make sure it works, and then we'll see where we're at. Perfect. Well, I appreciate you bringing it in, and... Um, let me know if we can work out a real deal. Yeah, thanks again. A few days ago, I had a customer come into the shop with an Akai GX 747 reel-to-reel -reel recorder. This piece is from the 80s, and it's in great condition. Pieces like this are very collectible. I negotiated to 2200 He was still stuck at $3,000, but had no tape to play in it, so I couldn't tell if it worked or not. So he called me up and told me he was able to borrow some tape from a local repair shop. I'm meeting up to see if it works and if I can make a real deal. How's it going? It's going good. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, so you managed to find some reel-to-reel -reel tape, yeah, huh? Yeah, we got it working for you. Have you tried it yet? I haven't. Are you ready? Let's see this together. Ha! Look at it go. That is a beautiful sight right there. I mean, wow. I gotta admit, I was a little skeptical when you brought this into the shop because these Akai 747s are very collectible. The problem is, they don't always work and right. the tape is really hard to find, so a lot of the times you're just stuck buying something you think works. Right. I'm happy to see it work. You can go ahead and turn it off now. All right. Good song, but not my favorite. <laughs> So the Akai 747 is very popular right now. It's even coming back in to use in recordings and such. Collectors do want to put an Akai 747 in their collection, whether it's working or not, a lot of them don't care. But when it works, it's just that much cooler. Now that I see it works, I'm interested in paying more than 2200 for it. Excellent. Would you take 2500 I'd really like to get 3000 for it. How about 2600 I do have to resell it, so, you know, I need to leave that wiggle room of a few hundred dollars just in case. Yeah, I'm comfortable with 2600 Perfect, we got a deal. Bring it on down to the shop, because I got to get your ID and your information, and we'll write it up. Awesome, appreciate right, it. Thank cool. you. Take care, thank you. you. Too.